Hey y'all, I, Rick Sky here, and several of y'all asked me, hey man, how do you use Skype to bring guests into your YouTube live stream while you're using your ATEM Mini Pro and also your Rodecaster Pro? So within this video, I'm gonna explain step by step, and then you can expand this video's description and click the link there to find all the equipment that I use. So for starters, just to recap, for my YouTube live session, my ATEM Mini Pro establishes and maintains a connection to YouTube. So it's doing it by way of uh, you know, the network jack, the Ethernet jack on the ATEM Mini Pro. My Rodecaster Pro, and I'm about to pop this up so you can see the uh, cable connections for everything, but my Rodecaster Pro uses this microphone. Now, I'm not using this microphone for this tutorial. But when I'm Skyping, when I'm live streaming, I'm using this microphone that's connected to the Rodecaster Pro. So how do I have all of this hooked up and how do I make it work so that the audience can hear the guest, I can see the guest, the audience can see the guest, you don't have echo, um, you know, you've got quality audio and everything's in sync, so how do I do it? Well, here's how I do it. I'm going to switch over to this camera view right here. Uh, so the first thing I want to show you is my laptop that I have on my talk show set. Um, and this is just the ATEM software control that's full screen for my ATEM Mini Pro. So the first thing you're going to want to look at is right here where you've got audio. So you can see the audio jumping now, and that is microphone one. And that's microphone one because microphone one, and I'll show you how this is wired up here in a second, but that's, that's my Rodecaster Pro audio. And that's also the audio that's going to be for the... Uh, uh, for, the, for the Skype guest. So you'll notice that out of all of these, the only one that I have on is my mic one in my ATEM Mini Pro, and that's intentional. Now, sure, there can be more complex setups during live streams where you're doing more than just Skype guest, but for the purposes of this tutorial and to eliminate any possible confusion, we're just doing this with Skype. So the objective from this video is for you to be able to learn how to use your ATEM Mini Pro with a direct connection to YouTube by way of the ATEM Mini Pro's network jack, your Rodecaster Pro with a professional microphone connected to your Rodecaster Pro. And in this example, we're just going to have one, one host, one microphone. Obviously, there's more complex things that you, that you might could explore. So, uh, the first thing I want to reiterate, you know, looking at mic one within the ATEM software control. Be sure to go to that gear icon down there in the bottom left of ATEM Software Control. Why they put it way down there, I don't know. And after you go to that gear icon, go to Audio. And then, after going to Audio, go to General. And be sure that if you're doing like I am and you're going to have your Rodecaster Pro plugged into Mic 1 of ATEM Mini Pro, that it's set to Line. If it's not set to line, you're probably going to get a buzzing and, and just pitiful audio quality. So make sure that's set up. Now we're going to look at cable connections. So one of the essential cables right here, this is, since I'm using a MacBook Pro, this is a USB-C cable. And that USB-C cable runs into the only USB-C jack in the back of my Rodecaster Pro. So see, that USB-C cable runs into my MacBook Pro and to my Rodecaster Pro. And that's super important, and I'm going to explain why here in a minute. The other cable that comes out, it goes without saying, is your microphone. So there's my microphone. This right here is nice, and we'll talk about that. That's not a requirement for, for this that, that we're doing now. Uh, this right here is important. This is my headphone, my studio headphone to listen to audio levels. Make sure everything's good. Obviously, that's just the power. This cable's important, and there's two of them. And they call this a monitor out. You know, in some other realms, you may say monitor. That's like a computer screen. No, it's saying audio monitor. So they call it monitor out. You know, a lot of people may call it audio out. So there's L and R, left and right. Left is black, right is red. And you can find all of this equipment and this cable linked within this video's description. I will caution you, if you try to cheapen up on this audio cable, and this wasn't an expensive cable, um, but if you try to cheapen up, you may not achieve the quality that you want. 
So that black cable runs all the way over here, and then it plugs in to my ATEM Mini Pro, into the Mic 1, which obviously Mic 1 is where you were seeing the audio levels. There's another very important component, and it's this right here, and it's plugged into Camera 2. It's this cable, this white cable. This white cable runs across the floor, and this white cable plugs into my MacBook Pro. That cable is super important, and here's why. So now that we've confirmed that our Mic 1 is, uh, you know, is on, and we don't have any other microphones enabled, although the camera, you can see it jumping because it's got a microphone on it, but I don't want that audio. Then you're going to want to go over to your Rodecaster Pro, you know, and typically what I do, I like to put the volume, and, and you can play with your volume. Typically, I like the volume on the Rodecaster all the way up, and if I'm too hot, then I'll just take the, uh, you know, the Mic 1 in the ATEM software control, I'll bump it down if I need to. But you don't want it too soft. Um, and then over here, you know, obviously I'll look at my Rodecaster, confirm that that my uh, primary microphone on the Rodecaster is perfect. And obviously if I go into settings and then I go in settings for microphone one and then I go into level and then I'm talking so you can see it's staying in that, see those two green lines? That's what this is so, you don't have to be an audio professional to understand this. If you're staying in between, in between those two, within those two green lines, then your audio should be somewhat perfect. And you can play with the other settings if you want to. Um, I mean, it's, there's just a few settings. I'll just show you. So you can go, you can adjust these settings, the audio processing. That's what I use. And then the level, we already looked at the level, the voice, the tone. I use medium. You'll find that most people may use medium. And the strength, since I've got a stronger voice, I use strong. But again, that's all personal preference. And of course, the microphone, I'm using the Rode Pod mic. So that's, that's that on the, uh, on the Rodecaster end. And again, this is it on the ATEM Mini Pro end. So now that we've got that and you've seen the cable connections, what do we do next? Well, you can see over there on my screen, and I'll walk over so you can see it, and then we're going to zoom in. This is what's called multi-view. You know, if you're using the Rodecaster Pro, which you probably are, if you're, uh, <laughs> if you're looking at this tutorial or you're considering buying one, and by the way, if you do, please consider expanding this video's description and shopping my links. So, you know, on this, you can see my preview. That's my talk show set. Now, when I get ready, excuse me, when I get ready to live stream, what I'm going to do is zoom that in so you only see, see, I've got a zoom lens on the camera. So I'll zoom it in and see, then you see that really tight shot with just green screen. So, as it says, that's camera one on my ATEM Mini Pro. And I went in and customized the name so it doesn't just say camera one, it says A7R4, because that's an A7R4 camera. Camera two, this is super important for Skype. Camera two is comp, which is short for computer. That's my MacBook Pro. Camera two behaves like a second monitor off of my MacBook Pro. And again, that is coming through this cable, the one that's going from camera two to my MacBook Pro. And again, you can find that cable linked within, uh, within this video's description. Video three and video four, or camera three and camera four, those are not applicable for this tutorial. We don't, we don't want to muddy this up. So now what we're going to do, we're in multi-view over here. We're going to go back to my computer, and I'm going to step you through the whole Skype thing. It's actually, I think you'll find it to be very simple. So let me log back into my laptop because it uh, timed out on me. So you can see here, I've got my ATEM software control full screen on my laptop, and then over there, I've got my multi-view. So what do I want to do? Well, I want to go to output, and I want to select camera two comp. And see, now you can see that over there is full screen, and it's only showing what camera two shows. And again, what camera two shows is the, uh, the computer's second monitor. So you can see here I've got Skype 
and I've just got it full screened on my second monitor, which again is, is input camera number two on the ATM Mini Pro. So let me show you how I've got my Skype configured. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull Skype over temporarily from that large monitor over there. We're gonna pull it over temporarily to my laptop so I can show you close up. See, that's just a computer desktop. You can see the wallpaper now. <laughs> so I'm dragging this over to my, uh, to my uh, laptop screen so I can show you all this. Let me drag it here. So see now I've got Skype right here. And this is something you'll want to do before you drag it over to your, see I drag it over there to go back to my monitor two, camera two, which is what the viewers see. So all you need to do in Skype is go to these three dots, go to settings, go to audio and video, scroll down for microphone, you want to select Rodecaster Pro Stereo. For speakers, you also want to select Rodecaster Pro Stereo. And this is a point of confusion for a lot of people. Because, so see, now our Skype's set up. So we can pull our Skype back over to our second monitor. And then we can click the little thing and make it full screen. So now it's ready for our Skype guest to join. Whether or not you appear within Skype doesn't matter. Obviously, you don't. You can mute your camera within Skype, and that's what I do. Or well, I guess you'd call it mute your camera. Turn your computer off. Uh, turn your camera off within Skype, but just keep the uh, the microphone on. And see, check this out. So this is the other thing that a lot of people aren't familiar with. So I'm going to show you what else I do for Skype. So when I've got Skype going. So normally, if I'm looking at my, and let me pop multi-view back up on the screen over there. So normally when I'm looking at my show, I'll just zoom in from here. So see, there I am, there's my little preview, and there's uh, the programs, what the program represents what's being shown on YouTube, which right now is just the full screen Skype. So how do I prepare myself to be part of the Skype but just use the camera that, that I'm using for the live stream. So that's actually really simple. So what I do, I select camera one in the preview, and then for the program, I select camera two. And again, camera two is my extended desktop. Camera one is my A7R4 camera. Then I go over to Chroma. And when I'm in Chroma, I select fill source of camera one. Now a typical green screen, and I'll show you, if you just do, um, if you go over here and do on air, see a typical green screen, and I'll step, well, actually if I step over there, you won't see me, because I, well, you'll see my chair and my microphone. So a typical green screen, there I am right there, front and center, pretty much filling the frame. Because see, there's my chair, and then my head would be almost at the top. I don't want to be that pronounced. So what I do when I've got Skype guest is I go over here within Chroma and I scroll down and I go to what's called Flying Key. Now this is where it gets really cool. So with Flying Key, and I'll show you what it looks like by default. See there I am, just a tiny corner. So this represents what the YouTube viewers will see, this would be all your Skype guests right here, face on video with audio. And then there you are, the host. But you probably don't want to be in the top right. So what I found looks the most visually pleasing is taking it to the uh, bottom right corner. So to do that, the Y-axis, you just press down a few times watching your, uh, watching your screen over there. And see, now you'll find that, well, See, there he is. There, there I am, but in the size of the entire screen, that's probably too small. Now, you don't want to be too big and overpower your guests because your guests are more important. So what I like to do 
is just tinker with this and see right here where it says size for the x-axis I just bump that up a little bit and then as I bump that up I probably need to move so I can move this back up I just put that to where it's flat on the bottom and see now you can see it's larger it's not too large but obviously you know someone that's my chair so my head's gonna be sticking up a lot higher I'm a decent size and then all of this area would be my Skype face on video guest. So me being the host, I stand out. You know, I'm, uh, I'm flying keyed, green screened. So I'm part of the screen that everybody's seeing. But so are all my guests. And then when I finish the broadcast with the guest, without having to change my microphone or without having to change my camera, I just use my A10 Mini Pro and change my shot within A10 Mini Pro and go back full screen with green screen backdrops or whatever I want to use. But that's how to use Skype with Rodecaster Pro and A10 Mini Pro. So I hope this video helped. Um, you know, again, I'm, uh, I'm, you know, I'm here to, here to provide, and you notice it's a tight shot now. See this, when I started this out, you can see all my lights and everything, but this is the type shot that I, uh, that I use for most of my live shows because I want to fill the, uh, excuse me, fill the frame as much as possible. Excuse me, hiccups. So, yeah, I mean, it's not, it doesn't have to be that difficult. But doing this, and, and I look forward to hearing your feedback. If you do this, tell me how it works for you because, I mean, I've, I've been blown away. Um, obviously, if you're looking for any of this equipment, please consider expanding this video's description and then shopping the links there. It helps my channel a lot. Also, if this video provided value, please consider supporting me on Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash irixguy. I'm an independent YouTube channel, um, so that helps. And, you know, at the bare minimum, subscribe, like, share, comment, ask questions. You know, maybe you can spark uh, ideas for future tutorial videos for the Roadcaster Pro and or the A10 Mini Pro. So, uh, you know, I, I, really, I really enjoy this stuff, and, and I hope that, uh, that y'all found this video to be both entertaining and educational. And hopefully it gets you to where you need to be with your uh, live streaming. And again, I referenced within this YouTube and, and then also using Skype as a tool to bring live guests into YouTube. But this, a similar workflow would probably work with other video conferencing software. I mean, there's Skype, there's Zoom, there's... Uh, go to meeting uber conference you know there's a long list of those types of tools and likewise there's a lot more than just youtube you know there's facebook live and you know there's there's a laundry list so it's, it's just really cool hardware and that's that's the coolest thing i mean this having this roadcaster pro married with um, a10 mini pro is just a really powerful duo so tell me what you think within the comment section below and be sure to subscribe it's youtube.com forward slash irixguy and ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Captain Irixguy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash irixguy and ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.